All right, in this video, we are going to make a couple of word clouds, and you'll see two different uh, tools or platforms for making word, word clouds. I make no promises that these are the best in the world. They are easy to use, and they are free, and um, they have different options. So uh, let's just go right in here, and I'll share my screen. So. Uh, the first tool I'm going to show is this website here, tagcrowd.com. So uh, I'm going to just copy the text that I want to use. Um, you can read off a website, upload a file, obviously. So uh, I am going to use the complete text of the Gettysburg Address. There are different versions, blah, blah, blah. This is not a history class. Uh, four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent, et cetera, et cetera. So, Control C to copy, go over here, paste it. We see there are some options down here. We'll worry about that later. Visualize, boom, there we go. Uh, everything is here. Uh, you notice everything is in alphabetical order and uh, it's scaled proportion to the size. Uh, now, if we look down here at the options, we can make the text box bigger if we wanted. Uh, English, maximum number of words to show is 100. And it's saying up here, it's showing 76 out of 76 possible words. You could click here to save as a JPEG or whatever. Uh, minimum frequency. So you can see it's set at one. So these smallest words only appeared one time. Uh, we could set this at two and hit enter. And it, and it redo. <laughs> and there's not a lot of words because Gettysburg address is really not very long. Um, and so honestly, this is a pretty boring looking word cloud. So we're gonna go back to, to one just to make it have a few more words. Uh, and then there's a, an interesting option here, uh, show frequencies, and we can click yes. Uh, and then you'll see numbers appear, like it's got a number next to all, every one of them. And to me that really, you know, ruins the vibe. It just makes it, uh, much too directly quantitative, ugly, boring, boo. Um, and it has the option also to group words together, like learn, learning, learn, just group those all together. And I would guess whichever word appeared the most times is the one that would show up on there. Um, and then if there are any words you don't want to have appear on the list, then you could enter those words right there. Okay, so that's, that's tag crowd boring, it's horizontal, it's alphabetical. Uh, I have not spent a lot of time digging into it, but looking at the options here, I don't see any ways to remedy those issues. So I have one color font, no interesting shapes, uh, no different orientations to the fonts or, or coloring or anything. So not all that great, obviously. Okay, so now we're gonna try wordclouds.com. Um, so, here um, to get our word list, um, I'm going to extract words from text, and then I'm just going to. I still have copied the Gettysburg Address. So if I hit paste, it's just going to put the complete text there. Uh, and there are a couple of options right here: ignoring stop words. I'm not quite sure what that is, honestly. Ignoring word case. That seems like not a logical thing to do. So we hit apply. Um, and uh, and it's been rendered. Now, the thing that I find is interesting is the word can is appearing here. And if you go and look at the other one, word can, this is alphabetical, the word can's not even there. So it seems like this is not working properly, that first one. But if you look at this and you think, okay, maybe like we can do it, uh, is, uh, is an important word that you want in there, or maybe you think it's not really, you know, it's kind of a helper word. Like, I don't see the in here. Uh, and so, like, apparently that got screened out by the other one, uh, but not by this one. So we can go here to the word list and we can say we want to edit the word list. And so we see here the word can appeared five times. So we could just delete it. And now if we click apply and go back here, now it's gone. So we can make sim simple edits like that. Um, I have the ability to make it bigger, uh, et cetera. 
Um, and uh, let's see here. Um, for the word list, we could also import it from a CSV file. And as you probably know, a CSV file that stands for comma separated values. So you can take any spreadsheet in Excel, you can just make a spreadsheet where you type numbers in, words and then numbers, and um, then save it as a spreadsheet so you can come back to it, but then export it or save as, as a .csv file, and then you could bring that in here. Um, so uh, we, can, we can do things like that, um, or we could just say, you know what? I just want nation to be bigger. So now we're obviously going away from a presentation of the historical contents of Abraham Lincoln's Gettysburg Address. But if you're just trying to make a word list that looks cool and is going to be about teamwork and unity and rah, 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 you can go in and just change the words and, and change the numbers. And so now nation obviously is much bigger. Okay, so uh, as far as other things that we can do, there's the shape that we could choose. Uh, and as you can see, there's a long list of shapes here. Uh, and some of them are gonna work better than others. Um, and uh, let's see, just a curiosity. So it's nice, you can search. And um, let's see what happens if we try putting it on the an American flag. And uh, you know, uh, that's what you get. Uh, we have some ability to control things. We can drag this scale up and it makes things bigger. But as, as you probably noticed, it's just making a circle and making it bigger. Um, but if we go big enough now, we're not gonna get, we're not really seeing that circle anymore. And we're really populating all of the spaces within this mask that's being used. Uh, so that's how we can change the shape on, on here. Um, we can color them. Uh, we could, uh, you know, I suppose we should have done this. Hmm. I searched. Oh, here we go. We'll go with the Continental because, you know, back when he was president, Alaska wasn't part of the deal yet, nor Hawaii. So that seems more appropriate. Uh, now, um, we could also on the shape, um, we can change the font. Uh, so I don't know, uh, whatever you like. I'm just kind of randomly choosing that. It looks kind of old timey from here. Um, and um, so I can apply that, you should see it. Oh, <laughs> I go to Word. Oh, cause I was searching for Word. Huh. Oh, no, 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 So I was using shape, the word shape. Uh, so like, this is what we could have done. We could have said Lincoln and applied it. And now it's making the word cloud using the word Lincoln, um, which honestly, to me, I liked, liked the map better. So go back to that. Um, and then we could, the, here's where we can change the font, Times New Roman, or oh, class here, let's try Bevan now. Um, so that looks like, uh, here we can change the direction. We can make them all vertical. We could make them vertical and horizontal. Um, you know, we have a lot of options. We could just make a big mess like that, which personally, I'm not a fan of that. Uphill, downhill. Random, random, or randomest, um, you know, what, whatever you like. Uh, personally, I think I really like this. Uh, I preferred the, uh, prefer that. Uh, and now colors, um, we can we can choose colors, and you know, given this is Abraham Lincoln, some might argue, oh, we should use uh, red and blue. I did blue first, I think. Um, so we do that um, for the mask color. Um, we could change it. We could add gradients. Uh, I won't play with all the options here. Um, and then there are other options. We could add shadow. Um, lots of options here. 
Um, and honestly, I haven't played with the wizard. Um, so I don't know what's going to happen. And I should not click on buttons when I'm recording a video that I don't know what they're going to do. Um, all right. So, uh, okay. So, um, like I said, this is a, a much nicer tool and it gives you a lot of ability to uh, change things however you like. Um, so, have any questions? Let me know.